Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to be a little more consistent, even though it's been, what, it's been like a month. <laughs> hey, look, look, I'm trying, okay? This is just a fabric haul that I have. I'm not, I didn't like set out to do a fabric haul. I've just kind of been collecting fabrics and it just so happens that they're all from Fabric Mart. But I mean, how can you beat the deals that Fabric Mart has? And I actually found some really cute fabrics. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got been here thinking um i'm gonna be honest ever since chicago frock tales i had lost my sojo i don't know what it is i know like i said before i blamed it on work kids school i mean it, it exhausted me i didn't have any time to sew but now that, that school is done um i do but i haven't really wanted to y'all get in that slump if so, drop me some advice in the comments what to do when you lose your sojo because all I know to do is just, just quit and do something else. I need some things to wear. Okay, now I have a closet full of clothes, but I can't fit it. Um, can't fit it or it's not finished. So those aren't options. And I'm just sitting here like, I need some, some cute stuff to wear. You know how it is when you go out look for stuff. You just can't find what you really like. So... I have some things that I want to make. I have one thing particular I'm going to a set that I'm going to start on today. But I wanted to just show you guys some of these great fabrics that I got from Fabric Mart. Yeah, I, I want to say, I'm going to be real, I think I was inspired by Jazz, okay? I'm going to put her um, Instagram handle here so you guys, I'm sure you know who, who she is, but if you don't, go check her out. But she um, always does like a, you know, vacation capsule wardrobe kind of, I guess, yearly. And she always has these really cute sets. And they're like sheer or, you know, the fabric that has like, is like, um, let me just show The you. first thing that I bought, and yes, I was inspired by my girl. So um, it's a soft white polyester spandex floral lace knit. This was $2 a yard. I got four yards. And this is a white, you can see the little details very cute see it has a little see-through but my idea was to just you know give it like a partial lining especially in the pants if i make pants or shorts you know in the butts in the butt part in the breast part you know keep keep everything covered up but i just thought this would be really nice and cute for summer although i haven't made anything yet and there you go you can really see it but i was thinking like either uh pants in a jacket type situation or just a top and pants top and shorts um dress like there's so many different things you could do with this and yes you could do like a if you wanted to you could do like a swimsuit cover-up situation but i didn't want to do none of that i just need some outfits to wear out this one same thing just a different design and let's see i got five yards of this also two dollars a yard and this is black so here's my black, and these are like little vents. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of like your little air vent. But same thing, pants, sets, short set, dress with that little partial lining. So I gotta at least make one of these before the summer's over. I was trying to get away from black, but I mean, you can't resist black because you can do, you can put black with anything. So black is always a great option. So another one that I got is a cherry red fern green off-white multi-linen lycra painterly floral print. That was a lot. $3 a yard and I got five yards. And my intent, this is, see I love this as a mesh, which that's basically what it is. It's cute. Like I said, partial lining, dress, Really, I was thinking of a dress. I had a dress in mind for this. And I will show you a pattern that I was considering. And I haven't done anything with it yet. So, you know me, I'm going to Florida Frocktails next year. So, I will probably make me something to wear down in Florida. That was another thing. I just really need to, like, stock up my stash. Because I have the hardest time finding fabrics that I really like. And that inspire me so when i do find them i'm just grabbing them and i'm just gonna work with them so i have a nice little stash so this is one i do love this i'm not usually big on floral print i'm just not 
but I thought this was really pretty. And with the colors, you know, not too much floral. It's just pretty, I like it. Chicago Frogtails. I was gonna make another piece to go with the dress, like a little shawl or like a little jacket because I didn't know what the weather was gonna be like. So I ordered some of this um, organza. They had this on sale also. It might have even been like last chance. $2.60 a yard and I got three yards. I wish I had got more because I know y'all saw that suit that Beyonce had on, okay? And I thought, ooh, okay. But I didn't get enough. So I got I got enough for a blazer. I could do at least a blazer or just a really cute top, something real girly, you know? So to wear with something and some heels. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to do with that. If not, then a top also. And also Jazz did a top, yes. So I was first inspired with the organza by Jazz. Like I said, if you ain't following Jazz, go follow her, okay? Another one, I was gonna make a jacket. This is, like I said, this was spring. Didn't do it. But um, turquoise nylon water repellent shirting. And I got this for $6.60 a yard, three and a half yards. And I was going, like I said, to make a jacket, but I never got around to it. And actually, I think it just started warming up real quick. And I was like, I'm not about to be outside wearing that. But turquoise is one of my favorite colors. I love turquoise. So this, um, while this can still be a jacket, I only have three and a half yards. I was thinking of either that Mimi G cape or just like a shirt, a shirt. That'd be different because it's made out of this repellent fabric, water repellent fabric. I thought that'd be different. So I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do with that. Dark Plum 100% Poly Drapey Twill. And this is the New York designer. They got different um, like categories of fabrics there. $5.40 a yard, four yards. And now that I'm looking at this, this is a little see-through. But it's a little darker than what it's looking on here. This is looking real purple, but it is a little darker than this. And my initial thought was like some drapey suit pants and like a um, vest. Honestly, I wanted to make a vest and some suit pants with this. I thought that'd be too cute. So this is probably going to be a fall make. Um, I will make it because like I said, I need some clothes, but $6.60 people. This was supposed to have been one that I was supposed to do for summer too. Guess what? I didn't do it. I went and bought some swimsuits and I got one that I'm wearing from last year I bought on Amazon, okay? I've been real, like I said, I ain't had my soul, Joe. It just left my soul, okay? It just left me. Tiffany blue nylon lycra swimwear active wear knit imported from Italy. Ooh, okay? That didn't have no influence on the purchase. You know, it was $3 a yard that did. So I got three yards. Like I said, I was gonna make a swimsuit, never got around to it, but I got some pretty turquoise swimsuit fabric. This could be also something that I make for Florida next year or just summer, because I need to make something with it, right? I love this one. Um, cool Emerald 100% Rayon Gabardine twill suiting. Also imported from Italy. Uh, six dollars a yard I got four and a half so I actually intended on making that Vogue pattern with the long vest with the buckle and the tie and the pants and guess you you know what I ain't get around to it so while I can make this for fall I don't know if this is a fall color I could be different but you know I don't know I was really thinking spring with this. So I'm, I'm probably gonna hang on to this until next spring. Like I said, get started in the winter time and just get this done. But that's the pattern that I'm really thinking about for this. You can see the color. Like I said, it's a little darker than how it's looking on here. But, and I hate, hate to tell you, but I think all, I'm pretty sure all these fabrics have sold out. It's been a while since I got this. And this is the last one, okay? I go back and forth to Fabric Mart and they have sales. So these have been different shopping trips, but this is, like I said, I just realized this is all from Fabric Mart. So it's a haul. But I've been seeing these cute little like sweater type knit sets with a shirt and a shirt and shorts or shirt and skirts 
And I said, that'd be so cute to do with that. And also it gives me like a little 70s vibe. I swear I had a baby blanket like this. <laughs> but I said, this would be cute and summery and girly. So this is something I have to make here pretty soon before the weather changes. It's a, let me see, multi-nylon multi lycra double scalloped edge zigzag. It's not quite like a heavy sweater, sweater knit like I thought it was gonna be, so that's cool. So it's, this will probably, it's smooth and it'll probably feel good against the skin. So, and then it's got that cute little scalloped edge. So I really like that. So that's something that I am planning on making. This last thing, I've had this for a while, but like I said, it's from Fabric Mart. Um, it's a rayon, let me see, 100% Ray, rayon, stylized floral paisley print crinkle chalice and 650 a yard three yards and this is what i'm about to make me a little two-piece set out of i've been trying to figure out what to do with this and i couldn't figure nothing i'm supposed to go out with some friends this weekend i said this would be cute to wear out i'm so probably gonna make just a little like a shirt that ties and then some shorts that's what i'm thinking put a little cute little matching set and that's it that's what i have for now um I will try to get these made, do my very best to get these made. Like I said, when you lose your sojo, what do you do? Drop me some comments. Um, also, if you have any pattern ideas for any of these fabrics, drop me some comments. Cause like I said, I get a little stuck. I, I, lose, I can't get inspired, but I'm trying to get it back. So just drop, give me a little help down there. But until next time, until I actually make something and I share it with you on my channel, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.